This lesson is going to be on arpeggios, and what arpeggios are, are chords, but they're the notes by themselves, so I can get a clean sound here. Instead of playing just a G major chord, an arpeggio would be something like this. So it's not the chord all at once. It's the individual notes. So if you're a rhythm guitarist, you might play arpeggios kind of like this. But a lead guitarist would play arpeggios a little differently. So let's look at the A major arpeggio. First we're going to need the A major scale. So A major will be the first, third, and fifth notes of that scale. So the first one will be right here, and then we count our way up. One, two, three, to the next note. Five. So our arpeggio would be first, third, fifth, eighth. So let's take that up two octaves. easier way to finger those than what I'm doing and it works better for you then use that way so to use arpeggios in a solo you want to stick around the same shape of the solo but you play the notes in the scale around the arpeggio so if we're using just our A power chord if we want to add a little solo line to that, we might use the uh, fourth note and slide it up to the fifth. Something like that. So let's look at this, uh, what we got here. We'll go through it slow. So it starts out on the A major arpeggio. Hammer on. In the first bar, we have the A major arpeggio. And then in the third beat of the third bar, we have a D arpeggio. So let's play through this once.
next section is about an A minor. So to play the A minor chord, we use the first, third, and fifth notes of the A minor scale. So let's look at the A minor scale. It's written out there. Looks like this. So first note, third note, fifth, then the A again. Let's take that up two octaves and a little more. And that's just the first three measures of that fourth picture there. So the last four bars of that fourth picture will be a little solo and how you can kind of play around the A minor arpeggio. So let's look at the last four bars of that. And it'll look something like this. say a D, and then figure out the first, third, and fifth notes. So if our D scale sounds like this, the first, third, fifth, and eighth notes are going to be 